Who is it? It's me, Dave, man. Open up. I got the stuff. I Who? Think... It's Dave, man. Open up. I think the cops saw me come in here. Who is it? It's it's Dave, man. Will you open up? I got the stuff with me. Who? Dave, man. Open up. Dave? Yeah, Dave. Come on, man. Open up. I think the cops Dave's saw me. Dave's not here. Uh, no, man. I am Dave, man. Will you... Man, open up the door. It's Dave. Who? Dave. D-A-V-E. Will you open up the goddamn Dave? door? Yeah, Dave. Dave? Right, man. Dave. Now, will you open up the door? Dave's not here. Now, Suko. Oh, Suko. Oh, Suko. Oh, Suko. Yeah, Suko. You better not kick. I'll break your leg with a stick. Little boy, little boy, who made your britches? Oh, mama cut them out, daddy run the stitches. Yeah, Sue Cow, you better not kick, I'll break your leg with a stick. Oh, you help her. I'll break your leg with a stick Little girl, little girl, who made your dress? Yeah, mama cut it out and daddy done the rest Yeah, Sue Cow, you better not kick I'll break your leg with a stick Oh, yeah, help her You ought to been a bull I'll break your leg with a stick. So, cow, don't you buck your eye. I got to have that milk today to make me a pie. Yes, Sue, cow, you better not kick. I'll break your leg with a stick. You know I'm gonna pull these tits. Recorded in 1936 at the St. Charles Hotel in New Orleans, that was the legendary Bo Carter with Sue Cow opening up this week's edition of Down Home with me, Howlin' Dick. Uh, Bo's real name was Armanter Chapman, uh, which I think was a far more glamorous mantle to have. And he came from a very musical family. He himself played guitar, banjo, clarinet and fiddle. And his five brothers, uh, one of which was, of course, the famous Sam Chapman, provided bass, violin, tenor, banjo, guitar and drums. Now, if you throw alleged half-brother Charlie Patton into the mix, you have one hell of a super group. Um, a couple of other talented musical families are the Ormonds and the Nevilles, who provide two-thirds of the front line for the Royal Southern Brotherhood. They've got a new album out called Heart, Soul, Blood. This is the opening track. This is World Blues. <laughs>
The formidable Mike Zito with Don't Break a Leg from his Gone to Texas album, which was released last year. Uh, Mike provides the other third in the front line for the Royal Southern Brotherhood, the others being uh, Cyril Neville of the legendary New Orleans funk meisters, The Meters, and later the Neville Brothers, and of course Devon Ullman, son of Greg, who carries the flame for his uncle Dwayne on guitar. Now, first listening, I think I prefer this one to their debut. Uh, maybe more tracks to come on the show in the future them. Whilst we're discussing Giants of the Blues World, uh, I've been listening to a live set of Big Walter Horton, who shares, uh, incidentally, Neil Young's nickname of Shaky. Uh, the set's with Ronnie Earl, live from the Knicker Box, and the great music writer Peter Gorolnik described uh, Walter's playing as achingly bittersweet. Couldn't have put it better myself. This is Little Boy Blue. <laughs>
in Philly by Richard Ray Farrell from his excellent album Shoe Shopping Woman, recently sent to me by a listener who is a retired professor in Leicester, uh, specifically for my wife who he knows is a shoe shopaholic. Never mind questions such as why are we here or is there life after death, I want to know how many pair of shoes does one woman need? Anyway, when I complain to her, she does go on about my record and book collection. Apparently, it dominates our house. Uh, But one of the great things about having a huge choice is that you can dip in and pick out a doozy. One of my favourites is Midnight Hour Blues, which is an album of the best of Leroy Carr and Scrapper Blackwell. This is from it. This is Big Four Blues. Big Four Blues this morning. 
A little tune was written back in 1948 with an old friend of mine, Lonnie Johnson, and Anna Hass. A little tune went very well. Pull up it like it. Brown skinned woman.
I don't think I've ever heard a bad Sunnyland Slim track. That was him there with Mike Bloomfield doing Brown Skin Woman, taken from an album I Bluskvasta Chicago, which is a great compilation of music recorded at the Sutherland Lounge in Chicago in 1964. Um, I just came across it, and uh, I don't know much about it, but from the title I assume it was released for the German market. And other artists uh, on the set include regular down-home friends, Willie Maybon, Eddie Boyd, Johnny Young, he was on a couple of weeks ago, and the great Yank Rochelle. Now, the last two we've talked about recently for their mandolin playing, and Yank, along with Papa Charlie McCoy, was definitely one of the godfathers of mandolin blues. Uh, This is him with Sonny Boy Williamson from 1938 with I'm Wild and Crazy as Can Be. You know I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it. I'm crazy as I can be. Me and my brother had a falling out. You don't know what it's all about. Cause I'm wild about it. So I'm wild about it. I'm so wild about it. I'm crazy as I can be. Me and Donna went off the on all night long. Didn't come home till the break of dawn. You know I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it. I'm so wild about it that I'm crazy as I can be. Get on in there. If you hear this piece, don't fuss and fight. You and your partner take a dance all night, cause I'm wild about it. I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it, I'm crazy as I can be. Get up in the morning, do like Jack and Jill. Take my baby, gonna take that pill, cause I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it. You know I'm wild about it, cause I'm crazy as I can be. Get your 
big leg up off of me. was Rich Del Grosso with Shotgun Blues, uh, originally recorded by Yank, and it's from a uh, great compilation, a tribute to Yank Rochelle, which includes tracks by people such as John Sebastian, John Esters, and our old favourite on the show, Bert Divert. Uh, there's a link for some great video footage of Rich on the site at www.howlingdick.com, uh, and he starts by paying homage to the great man. As usual, there are links for videos and info for all the artists, including the playlists up at www.howlingdick.com, so if you're not there now, get on over there quickly. Uh, there's a new album on the porch uh, this week from Bernie Pearl called Take Your Time. This is him with Barbara Morrison and Arthur Big Boy Crude Up's Rock Me Mama. And it's definitely crude up, not crud up. And I know that because a pedant told me. Rock me, 
mama home. Rock me slow, rock me just one time before you go. Come on, rock me mama home. Hey, 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 rock me mama home. Rock me mama one time before you go. All night long Why don't you rock me, fair? Takes you all night long Come on, rock me, mama Hey, 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 rock me, mama Just rock me, mama One time Before you go
wanna do me so mean mm, You know I love you baby Oh but I'm so sick and tired of this people who uh, go to gigs and stand up in front of you or sitting in front of you taking uh, videos with their iPhones well I, I kind of find that disturbing but I really do have to thank whoever shot that piece of video Tully Bray and put it up on YouTube it's now on the website at woo 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 how linktick.com whoever is handling Tully should get some decent video up on YouTube because not only is she a great raunchy blues performer but she's also certainly a very striking lady as you can see from the short video there and there's nothing really else of her online that I could find at the moment so Tully kick your management into shape <laughs> anyway that was Tully and her take on Big Mama Thornton's Ball and Chain. And the great late Janis Joplin frequently acknowledged Thornton's musical influence and recorded several live performances of Ball and Chain. And my very good friend Bex Marshall is about to tour the UK taking the role of Janis, along with Big Brother and the Holding Company, featuring original guitarist Sam Andrews. So that's a gig not to be missed, and more on that in the weeks to come, and hopefully I'll play some Janis and Bex as well. Uh, continuing the theme of ladies of the blues, here's another track from Karen Lovely's latest release, Prohibition Blues, which is a truly wonderful album. This is Last Kind Words. <laughs> If I die, if I die in the German war, I want you to 
Send my body back to Mama alone If I get killed, if I get killed Please don't bear my soul I for you leave me out Let the buzzards eat me home When you see me coming Cross the rich man's field I'm gonna bring you a flower I'll bring you a bolted meal
been talking about godfathers today and i always wonder who the godfather of british blues was or is uh is it or was john mayle he certainly knew how to pick a guitarist and certainly discovered most of the leading ones of the 60s british boom and cyril davis uh, his band spawned countless others including the rolling stones uh chris barber who brought half of chicago over here or that guy the great alexis corner who we just heard with the fabulous blues incorporated and with night time is the right time it will be a great discussion but one we're going to have to leave for another day as that's almost it for this week's show uh, as all usual, I'd like to thank you for listening to Down Home, whether it was on the website, www.howlingdick.com, or at Mixcloud, or maybe you subscribe to iTunes or listen online at Taint or Seclo Sounds. However you did, thank you. Of course, there's always the possibility that you've slept through the whole thing, in which case I would still thank you, but you did miss a great show. Playing out now with Alabama Junior Pets, who once fronted an album with none other than the great Teardrops, uh, where Magic Slim just featured on the credits this is from the great chicago blues box set which i've been living off of from the last few weeks it is called i want some enjoy you've been listening to down home i've been howling dick thanks for coming to my porch till the next time
Tem razão 